Mexican Bay State Prison, right? What can I say? <laughs> um, so I was there, right? That, that's my first mainline prison and shit. Right after Tracy reception, so I, so I, you know, they shipped me all the way to Pelican Bay. Uh, I'm 18 years old, you know, a little skinny, little fucking young, dumb motherfucker and shit, and. You know, I'm just trying to survive in prison, you know what I mean? Like, it's my first time also, you know what I mean? So I just go, I'll go over there in my little jumpsuit, fresh from the bus. And as soon as I walked into the pod, to the building on B yard, uh, B5, you know, that's where they get their, you know, the orientation and shit. Police, police came up to me and talked to me. He's like, hey, hey, youngster, you know, and does your mom know you're here? And I'm like the fuck <laughs> and then um you know they were talking to me being friendly and shit like that but they were just they were talking about hey you guys just you know you didn't you know uh uh, uh just recently just like a couple months ago you just just you guys just got off uh lockdown because you guys were, were at war with the white boys and shit you guys smashed them you know what i mean and i was like us really that's what they were telling us during that time you know we're just fucking smash the white boys and shit and uh, I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about prison. It's my it's my first fucking mainline and shit. You know, my remember my mindset was from the Y. You know what I mean? So, anyways, I go to I go to orientation, whatever and shit. I get off orientation, and then my first yard, uh, first time going to the yard. I was looking. I'm looking for my peoples. I'm looking for the Asians and shit. And then I see this. Uh, they were doing dip bars in the corner. And I came up to them, they came up to me, and they were talking to me like, hey, you, you know, you Asian? You young Pinoy, you know what I mean? Then, uh, oh, what's up, you know? And then, um, you know, surprisingly, the, 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 the fool that uh, in, that welcomed me was a, a, a OG from um, uh, Van Nuys, ABZ. And then, it's kind of weird, because, you know, the why you got that street mentality, you get, you know? So I'm like, fuck, should I take off to this? Oh, this one fucking big. But I was, you know what I mean? How come he's so fucking nice? This, how come he's so wel wel welcoming to me? And he ain't taking off on me. I ain't taking off on him. Uh, it, you know, there was no disrespecting going on. It was just weird. It was just weird. So we're just chopping it up, chopping it up. It's like, you got the potties right here from RPB, Tone, and you got, you got your foods. You got, you, got, you got a homie there too. The homie Amboy was over there, right? <laughs> so that's cool that's cool they, they, they were welcoming they were fucking buff as fuck dog they were just like damn I gotta get my shit together man everybody here big everybody in here big you know what I mean so <clears throat> you know we go we, it, you know fast forward we, on, we ended up going to the yard and meet all the pares the Pinoy and shit and the homie I'm boy from the hood Jeff Rocks you know what I mean and um I'm trying to tell him like, hey, let's fucking sell up together, man. Let's do something about it. Oh, we're gonna have to work something out because there's no open cell for us to be moving in together. So we just gotta wait for now. All right, that's cool. Luckily, there's uh somebody. There was a there was a, there was a cell that opened up because um uh, a white boy just fucking killed his Sally, and um they were doing count time at, at 3 p.m. and then fucking um you know. The dead guy was fucking wasn't getting up. Of course, he's dead, right? So, anyways, they got caught. Whatever, you know. Nigga went to the host. The cell was open. We ended up using that cell so we can uh, get together and shit. You know, me and Amboy from the hood. But before all that, before all that, I was held up with this the Vietnamese dude from San Jose and shit. But he kind of like Jake at, and you know what I mean, like. He was like depressed and I don't blame him. That's Pelican Bay, man. Like 99% of them fools, they got life. They got triple life, quadruple fucking life. All the homies and shit, you know what I mean? There's like only a few individuals like me and people that got a date and shit. But people that got like, they're never going never going home, you know? They're, people are depressed, man. It's, it's a sad place. So I guess it got, it got into him. He's a youngster too, you know? He's a, he's a big youngster. And... I was I, I was embracing him. I was accepting him and shit. You know, we, we, as my as my homie, as my peoples. You know what I mean? And I feel like he was just like, 
you wasn't feeling none of that or whatever and she may because I'm a different race I'm Pinoy and you Vietnamese or I don't know what it is but this fool would do it on purpose like he would literally as soon as program time in the morning that's when he'll sleep and then as soon as nighttime fucking uh, ends that's when he'll wake up and program that fool weird as fuck and I mean so anyways there was already tension in the fucking um uh, in the cell and shit I wasn't no bully or anything like that you know what I mean it, I was just like I was just me you know I'm just a fucking youngster that came from the Y and that nigga said um, one morning and shit one morning I guess he woke up on the wrong side of the bed we was like exchanging words and that nigga said um, that nigga said uh, man I could have killed you last night or something like that right I could have killed you that she fucked me up I was in I was in my fucking uh uh, 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 um, pajamas like it's not pajamas but it's like the shit that you wear uh, thermal fucking um, whatever and shit cause this Pelican Bay is cold it's cold over there and I, I even got my socks on and everything I think, what'd you say? hold up man so I fucking <coughs> took my socks off right and then I stood up I stood up and that's when he sat down and started eating his little fucking food in his little bowl and shit I told him, hey, fool, I'm gonna need that. What, you, what the fuck did you, did you just say? You could have killed me last night, fool? And then he stood up again. He got that angry look in his face, like, yeah. Oh, is that right? I gave that fool a left. And man, that was just a fucking left to the mouth and shit. This fool, this fool ducked his head and started swimming and shit. And I'm mixing his shit right in the cell, right? And then he couldn't hang, so he fucking started trying to fucking grab me, trying to choke me and shit. And this fool was bigger than me, dog. I'm a little skinny 18 year old kid. But I'm mixing this shit, and, you know, it was punching me in the stomach. I wasn't feeling it at all, and, you know, uh, it, it was making a sound, too, because fucking, it was, like, grunting, whatever and shit, and we got down for a long time, but, uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, uh, he was kind of, like, dry snitching, because he got me in the fucking, uh, on the door, trying to, trying to, trying to hold on to me and shit, because, you know, because I was craving the shit, and then fucking, uh, he stopped because he was causing a lot of attention and the police gonna go down we were gonna get caught so we stopped and she, hey, what the fuck you trying to get caught for? so anyways uh, fucking his Vietnamese homie came down from the shower he looked at us and hey, what happened over there? hey dog what's up with your homie for this was a fucking Jake ad and shit so that Vietnamese homie they called him B I forgot where he was from I think from San Jose too he went to go talk to the party tone from RPB and shit Big ass potter, he's like half black or something. Tone. So he goes there, hey potter, what happened, dog? This fucking Jake guy right here, Tom, but he could have killed me last night, some crazy shit like that. So I had to get down with him, fool. Man, we're gonna have to just get you guys, you know, separate you guys and shit. And then he went to go talk to the fucking uh, the shot callers or the rep for the fucking Vietnamese to check that guy. And the body talked to me and he's like, hey fool, don't be fighting the homies, this this ain't fucking the streets, this ain't, you know, gang banging, like, no, I'm not, I wasn't gang banging, I was just like, this fool's crazy, dog, you know what I mean, so, anyways, long story short, I ended up with the homie fucking Amboy, right, <laughs> so anyways, we had been seeing each other from the streets, and then finally, I, I, I got, I got with him, and we was chilling, it was fucking chilling in Pelican Bay, and, 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 um, the party that, the, uh, that had the yard was spotted uh, Johnny you know we don't we're not dictatorship like you know the other cars like Norteños or fucking you know all structured like that we're family oriented like we don't whoever is the oldest guy that's the most wisdom the most experienced the most fucking that put in work for the car and shit that's the one they gonna respect that's the one everybody gonna listen to we got the last say you know and at that time that was spotted uh, Johnny you know what I mean and everybody respects him everybody just you know listen to him and they were lacing me up they, they were slowly turning me from a kid to a fucking man and shit like lacing me up about whatever whatever and it wasn't just him we have a lot I got a lot of older fucking potties with a lot of wisdom that's been down for 30 years you know 35 years shit like that uh, Pari Rey, Pari Sinbad from TBS. I learned from him. TBS, the, the, the crew, the gang right here, that's, you know, they say this true brown style. It wasn't true brown style before. It was called the Brats, TBS and shit. Those are the OGs, man. Those fools been been there, been locked up 
they forgot about them just been there for years and years and years and they don't even give a fuck anymore because that's their life you know they're, they don't think like they don't think like a street guy they think like this is my fucking life and i'll never get out and they're all just visiting right here that's how they feel and that's the truth man we're just basically uh 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 um you know staying there for for you know i'm not planning on staying there forever nigga. everybody trying to get out you know if somebody in fucking prison you know trying to act like i don't give a fuck you know what i mean i don't care about getting out i'll stay here forever this is my life they're lying fool everybody trying to get out deep inside homie deep inside in their fucking subconscious they're not gonna admit it they're not gonna ad admit fucking any weaknesses or anything gay like that but Everybody trying to get out. Nobody want to be in there, dog. Fuck that bullshit. But, but these are your lifers. These are these, these are fools that you know they got all day and shit. They got triple life, quadruple life, whatever and shit. And those those were my transition on becoming a fucking man. And then finally, I took my GED and one one take, and I passed my GED. That's one of my first accomplishments. GED is is equivalent to a high school diploma. You know what I mean? You just gotta take the test. You gotta be you gotta pass it. And that's where also I, um, what do you call this? That's where I got my uh, optician. It's a vocation. It's called op uh, optician um, vocation. And I could use that. I can work at Walmart or any lens crafter and shit. You make glasses, whatever. That's where I got it too. I did a lot of good things in there in Pelican Bay, you know, to better myself, whatever and shit. Because you got a choice. It's either you like, you know, better yourself, do some of the time, read books, work out, discipline yourself, you know, find your find your inner peace or whatever and shit, your zen. Uh, Asians, you know, they're the kung fu masters and shit. You know, they, I, I learned a lot of shit. So that that's that, those were my those were the times that I'm trying to better myself and shit, trying to evolve to a different motherfucker and shit from that street mentality, from the why and that little kid shit. You know what I mean? And it's just one of the, just one of the um, journey I took, but yeah. So, anyways, 